Hey, let's say hi to Shannon in Birmingham, Alabama. You're on the Michelangelo Ciarelli Show. Hello, Michael. Um, I want to say thanks for taking my call, and, and I want to preface this with I have never called into a radio talk show ever, and I'm not sure what, what possessed me today. Um, I, I agree with uh, Stephen, which is going to make everybody probably a little mad from what I've heard on this. I'm a probably a lot white, a lot Indian, probably have some black in me. I've never done my genealogy, but I called in because... I got a little upset when I was thinking about, and I don't know everything about Rand Paul, don't know a whole lot about him, to be honest, but the question was about um, would he um, be okay, from what I understand, what I was listening to, I pulled over on the side of the road, um, if we discriminated, a private business discriminated against anybody of any other race, but they are, I suppose. We can't have it both ways. We keep saying we want government out of our private business, but then we say, you know, you you told Stephen, well, you want them to protect you. Well, I want them to protect my public rights. I want them to protect me in, you know, laws against murder, rape, and all that kind of thing. But, you know, what I'm hearing you say is, you know, if I wanted to have a women's club, I can't have just a women's club. But if I wanted to have a boys' club, I can't have a boys' club. If I wanted to sell a donut to somebody, I couldn't say, nope, you know, you're rude. I don't want to sell a donut to you. Now, I know you can't change your skin color, but we're taking this to me out of context. And you said that well, you actually, you friend, could. I, I, Paul just, was racist or not. It seems like you do. No, I, you I, I just want to. I want to interrupt you for a second there because all the things you just said, you could do. Uh, you could have a private club that is a woman's club. If it is a private club, not open to the public, you can do that. If you have a customer in your store who is rude and you don't want to sell that person a donut, you have every right to do that. And believe me, I grew up selling donuts. Uh, my family has restaurants, okay? You can throw out anybody who is being rude, but you cannot turn somebody away because of their skin color or because of their religion or because they are Irish and you don't like Irish people. You cannot do that. And that is now a law in this country and it needed to be a law because people were being discriminated against. And there are places where there's only one establishment and you don't serve people. They got to drive 90 miles. That's discrimination. Well, for public businesses, I, I agree with you, and I hear what you're saying. And I would hope that if there was a private business that discriminated against anybody based on re race, religion, whatever, I would hope that the rest of the public would say, you know what, I'm not going to do business there. And that would shut them down if they were a private-owned, didn't take money from the government, let society take care of them and shut them down. You have a choice whether to shop there or not, whatever it is. Well, that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. And you know what? In 1964, there was no way it was happening. People then there was so much racism in this country. There there was so much um, anger at the idea of giving civil rights to people that if you did not change that, that wasn't going to shut that business down. And, and the truth is that would be the same today. Okay. That's what he argues. Rand Paul, the market should dictate it. The marketplace uh, is not a place that you have civil rights dictated. And with the numbers of white people and particularly the numbers of white people who are racist in the society, a business can get along on just racists. You're not going to put them out of business. So what is wrong with, what do you think is wrong with saying to a business? And, you know, you said earlier, you can't have it both ways. You want the government out of your life. You can have it both ways. Government can be a great force in your life and government can be intrusive, right? You can have the government enforce laws that protect us all. Don't you want the Food and Drug Administration to be monitoring the drug companies? That's a yes or no. Yes? Do you agree? That's a yes. Okay. Yes. Don't you want the health department making That's sure that they don't sell you bad food, as I said earlier? Of course. What is wrong with, if, if 
the government banning discrimination is going to protect those people who are members of minorities. What is wrong? Why does it infringe on your right? What is it that is the negative for you as the business owner that you're not allowed to serve those people? What what is what does it do for you? What does it do to your business? Different now than in the 60s. Technology is a great thing. And what we have now that we didn't then is we have the Internet. And people get on there and they can take down a company in a heartbeat. I, I live in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, what does that have to do with it? Where it's predominantly black. And I can tell you right now, if I opened up a store and said, you know what, I'm not serving black people, I can tell you I wouldn't last long. The word would be out. It would be all over the Internet. And I can tell you, I wouldn't be making enough money to keep a business so, open. But why? Okay. But what why? What is? Uh, but you haven't answered. You haven't answered the question. Take place. But you haven't answered the question. What is wrong with the government saying you can't do that? Yeah, maybe in Birmingham, if you did that right now, uh, there would be an issue. I still think there's enough white people who would support you who were racist. But anyway, even if that weren't true, what is the problem with having the government say you can't? Just give me the. The infringement issue. What what problem does it give the business owner? Where is the business owner compromised? Where is he losing money? She losing money? What is the problem with the government doing that? To, to lose money, you know, there, there's no question there you would be right. I, I don't think I would lose money if everybody was coming to my establishment. Is it the right thing to do? Or is having letting me personally having everybody come to my establishment? Yes, I would want everybody to come to my establishment, no matter what they are, who they are, or what their belief system is. But on the other hand, I have a right a, if I don't right want to, somebody uh, to come in my private but, business that I privately own but, that I privately uh, fund. I don't take money. I'm I'm not getting a bailout. From the government. So why do I need the government telling me what to do? Just like, why do I need the government? Well, to because tell you're me you're a public you're, a seat belt? you're a public establishment open to the public. Anybody can walk in off the street. You don't have uh, a private. It's not a private club. It's a public establishment. Anybody can walk in off the street. You want to be able to say to people after they walk in off the street, sorry. I don't like the color of your skin. You understand how the magnitude of that uh, affects minority groups in this country. What is wrong with the government saying you can't do that? Government's not saying you can't throw out a rude person, as you said earlier. Not saying you can't throw out somebody who isn't paying their money. Government even says you could tell people if they're not dressed appropriately, they can't come in, right? But we're just saying you can't do it on the basis of skin color. Why do you want to protect that right, that, that supposed right? Why do you want that right? And, and honestly, you don't have it right now. You, you don't. But why would you want it? I, I'm just saying I don't want it legislated, just like I didn't want to legislate having a the, seat. Uh, you see, adult. I'm Tell just not. I, I got it. Uh, well, because you don't want the government telling you you have to wear a seat belt. It's the same thing. I know what you're going to make that, but no, what I'm saying, it, it comes down to the principle of government telling you what to do. And I don't think government should tell me. No more than I want to say, I don't government. But again, and I, I've been through this with the previous caller, been through this with you. I don't think we're going to get anywhere. 